It is the most wonderful time of year. Christmas items are hitting the shelves at stores. I've got my craft room tree up and I could not be more excited. Now, some of you might be thinking, Whitney, slow your roll. It is only October and I totally get it, but it's the same song and dance every single year. The stuff hits the stores the beginning of October, the good stuff sells out by November, and then you're bummed if you weren't ready for it, but you didn't grab it and stash it away. So today I'm gonna help you with that. I'm going to give you an overview of what I am seeing currently right now in my stores outside of Chicago and Illinois so that you can know what stores to visit, what websites to check out. I've got Dollar Tree, Amazon, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, at home, so many different places with some great finds with items I know are gonna sell out. So grab yourself a Christmas beverage and settle in because we're going shopping and I am going to be your Christmas guide. You're watching Whiskey and Wit. My name is Whitney and a huge welcome back to my Whiskey Craft Buddies who are here each week to DIY with me. Now, if you're not already a craft buddy, no worries. You can join us. You won't have to deal with any FOMO in this holiday season. Just hit subscribe down below. Make sure that little bell is clicked and YouTube will let you know every time I post a video. Now, without further ado, let's get into the finds. First up, we're gonna do Dollar Tree. So for my area, Dollar Tree is one of the last stores to actually put their Christmas stuff out, which is crazy because I see people sharing online all the time and I'm sure you feel the same where you're like, oh, I wish my Christmas would just get stocked. I have some good finds, but not everything has been put out yet. So be patient. It depends on so many factors within the store. So it is coming. If it's not already in your store, I promise it will be there soon. So this is what you want to keep your eyes out for. I love their wood items. They are a really good deal at $1.25 and I like having them for embellishments and things with DIYs. So I got snowflakes. I got gingerbread men. I got these little trees that a couple years ago I made them into beads. I will link that video right here. They turned out super cute. I got two packs of trees. I got two packs of snowmen and then I also got these stars. So here are, nope, those are trees. Here are the snowmen. So like I said, anything unfinished wood from Dollar Tree for the holidays, I love to grab. I also love these little trees. You can grab these. They're all set up in their Christmas section. I like these because they're the bottle brush trees with the little wood bottoms. Starting last year, Dollar Tree upped the game with their $1.25 bottle brush trees. They also have some with flocking on them, but I got those last year, so I didn't need to buy more this year. But I really like these because they are poseable, bendable, they're great for Christmas villages, and they are larger. So these are the two that I picked up because I do not need any more Christmas trees, but I do like having these because I want to add to our Christmas village. I always find a use for these pom-pom trims. I grabbed red, white, and green. These come in handy when I do my Cricut Blank video but I've used them on other things too. They're great to put around the outside of a pillow because all these pom-poms are hooked on a strip right here. So if you can find these, I would definitely pick them up because I have a plan for this. I was so excited to see their character ornaments this year. They had this little Thomas All Engines Go ornament, which I absolutely love. He loves the show. And then I also liked that they had the Shatterproof Rudolph. I've got a Christmas movie video coming up. And so this Rudolph one will come in handy for that video. So both of these were $1.25. Everything I've talked about so far is $1.25. And I'll let you know when we transition into plus. So you guys that know me really well are probably going to be shocked at this purchase, but I really thought these were beautiful. The way that the light went off of them in Dollar Tree. I thought they were so pretty. I plan to use these actually after Christmas in my dough bowl as a base for like some trees or something for winter. So I'm gonna put them in a bag, put them away. They also had some greenery that I was really excited about till I got up there and the fallout and just, I'm gonna pass on them. Now transitioning to Dollar Tree Plus, so this is their three and five dollar options. I haven't had a plus for the holidays before, this is the first year, and overall I think it's hit or miss. Some of the items seem kind of cheap that they're selling for the three and the five dollars. However, some of these items are great finds. So one of them being velvet ribbon. They have rolls that are 360 inches, which is 10 yards of this velvet ribbon. So this is great for wrapping presents, also decor. Modern reindeer figurines, especially ones that stand up and you can put in greenery, are super popular right now. So I grabbed both of these. They were $5 each and we are going to DIY these in my upcoming high-end inspired video, better known as the dupe video. So stay tuned for that. I mentioned that Christmas movie DIY video. I picked this up because the second I saw it, I thought of the Grinch. 
that's one of the DIYs I'm going to be doing in that upcoming Christmas movies video. So if you're interested in Grinch DIYs, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss that one. I was so excited to see these and these are definitely one of the things that are going to sell out. So if you see them, grab them. They are these mercury glass trees. Now look at these. It's plastic. I am so excited about these because I, even before I had a little kid, would break these on accident. These things... You can drop them on the floor, especially for places like above your cabinets or if you have a high up mantle or you want to do something on a coffee table and you've got even pets. If this gets knocked over, like it's no big deal. So these definitely a must find. These are such a high end dupe. Store number two is going to be Pop Shelf. Now this is a store owned by the Dollar General brand and it recently opened up near me. I shared some content both on Instagram, YouTube Shorts, and TikTok and the feedback was that you guys wanted to see all my finds. So here is what I picked up for Christmas. I also lucked out because for Columbus Day weekend this past weekend they had 30% off all their Christmas stuff. So even the items that were only a dollar went down to 70 cents which is a lot of ornaments I will share with you today which I thought was awesome that they're running sales like that on cheaper items earlier in the year instead of it just being year-end clearance. The first item that I had to have were these nutcrackers. These look just like the Pottery Barn ones and you don't have to DIY them at all. I love how soft they are. They feel like that like acacia or mango wood that you're seeing all around that's super popular. I've got items like that from other stores as well coming up and these were only six dollars and then they were 30% off. You literally can't beat this price. I also love this tree. It is green velvet. This was $5, but then 30% off. I really like the kind of cozy high-end vibes it gives, but again, it's another light item that I can put in a vignette, and if it falls off, it's not a huge deal that it breaks. The vibes I got at Pop Shelf overall are like a higher-end Dollar Tree, but it also feels like Dollar General as far as the types of decor that they have, but I really was more impressed when I walked into Pop Shelf than I have been recently in a Dollar General. Dollar General does have some good items, but I feel like a lot of times with the aisles, it's like, where am I going? Is it fully stocked? There's boxes, kind of like Dollar Tree. The pop shelf that I personally went into outside of Chicago was definitely well stocked, very clean. They're newer, so just something to keep in mind. Another item that I thought was great was this Letters to Santa box. It functions, there's a slit in the top, and this was $10, so $7 on sale. Finn loves the mailman and so I thought this would be great to either keep like this for Christmas or DIY for him. I also love that the post and the letters to Santa look nice but they're not embossed. So if I wanted to paint this and have it just be like a USPS mailbox for him, I could do that too. Or you could make it whatever color matches your decor. Their ornaments are a dollar instead of a dollar twenty-five like you would see at Dollar Tree. And I just liked the change up of seeing things that aren't the same old, same old that I see at Dollar Tree. I also was very impressed that they didn't have glitter on everything. Some things had glitter, but you know me, these things that didn't have glitter, I was so excited. So I grabbed some of these white metal stars. I thought these would just be pretty to either add to my craft room tree or have for embellishments. I grabbed a couple of these cute little nutcrackers. They came in white, blue, this red, and like an ivory color. I thought these snowmen were so cute for an embellishment for a DIY. And then I got a bunch of these bells to DIY. I think they would be beautiful covered in like a rub and buff, but they function. So they are a bell and bells are going to be everywhere this year. I've seen them all over the place. Gold bells are having a moment for this Christmas. I also fell in love with these really cute candles. They are two different colors. I think they also had a red one. These were $2 a piece and I thought they were so cute. The wick comes out the top. I don't know if I'll light these honestly, but they're both unscented, which was great. But I think these will be just really nice for decoration. I grabbed these, which are candle stick holders. They call them candle holders. The big one was $4. This was $3, but I really like that they are wood. And again, these are very, very light, which I like in decor. Sometimes lightweight means like cheaper, but they don't feel like that. Like these are a nice wood and they'll be great for Christmas and beyond. I also think I'll put these out on Thanksgiving. So because they don't scream Christmas, they are a great year round item to have. Next up is Walmart and I love shopping seasonal stuff at Walmart. They've become my go-to over Target just because I think the prices are better and their quality is amazing. The tree behind me is a $69 pre-lit tree from Walmart. I will link that info down below as well as anything else throughout the video that is available online. You can find the links down in the description. I also got these fun little picks with Christmas bulbs from Walmart. I have four of those stuck in there. And then I've got my Hobby Lobby ribbon. 
These fun sprinkle ornaments were from Walmart and then these are Hobby Lobby. This candy cane lane sign down here is from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I've got some other fun colorful ornaments on here from Walmart. I love this thing. It's a seven foot pencil tree. It is perfect for an office, a kid's room, a bedroom, a hallway where you want to add a lit tree but don't want to spend a ton. I think it is beautiful. I fell in love with this cute little pillow that says Merry and Bright. This is another one. I wanted to find some colorful Christmas stuff for my craft room just to help me feel inspired because if I had my whole house the same color scheme, it just really wouldn't allow me to make a wide variety of projects. My two other super colorful things I bought was this Make It Merry sign. I thought this was cute and like the make it. I'm just gonna either put it back here or on one of the walls here in my craft room to make it feel like a Christmas wonderland. And then I grabbed this little jukebox because I think it is so cute. It's pink retro, it's got the little retro Santa up here. And then you can press to either play Deck the Halls, Jingle Bells, Silent Night, or Joy to the World. I'm gonna put it down in our kitchen and I think it'll be fun as we're cooking dinner at night to dance to some Christmas music. These next two were a must grab for me when I saw them. I was like, these are beautiful and they're definitely gonna sell out. And they are these wood bells. So this one, the smaller version is just with the jute twine on top, but it is literally so pretty. And this one came with a little metal holly berry thing, but it's just tied on. So if you don't want that, you can take it off. I think these would also be pretty into winter, especially if you, you know, take the holly berries off. I also found this oblong wood bowl and I don't think it's necessarily Christmas, but it matches those bells. And I bought this because I'm gonna fill it with ornaments and put it on a console table that we have. And then this is another one where you could definitely use it for years and seasons to come because you just swap out what's inside and then it's whatever season you want it to be. In their Christmas section, Walmart always has these little like metal sticks. This one was $3.88, but I really like the like artwork on here with the come in. The hot cocoa is served daily. I like to stick this in greenery that I have around my house and it's just a nice way to add a sign kind of popping out of the greenery. So I just boop, put it right in there and it's good to go. Now pro tip for you when you are shopping in store at Walmart, if you don't see the Christmas stuff because their Halloween stuff is still out, head to the garden section. Two of the stores near me have pretty much all of their Christmas stuff in the garden section. It's like a Christmas wonderland set up in there. And if you don't go look there, you're gonna miss it and think they don't have Christmas out. So a lot of these I found out there. So definitely check the garden section when you are shopping to make sure that you don't miss anything. Even if you have a couple small aisles within the actual store, go out in the garden section and just check. It's worth the extra couple minutes because probably nine times out of 10, they're gonna have stuff set up out there because they don't have room for all of that. Plus the Halloween, they're still trying to get out back to school through clearance. So it's a whole thing. I was able to find these out there for our Christmas village setup. One was this little TV. We already have one that Finn loves, but this one has a train in it. And this was $9.97, which I thought was awesome. It's a musical, so you can hit that, it will play. And then for our Christmas village, I got this guy. It's a little train again, train is the theme, Finn loves trains. So there's that. And then I also grabbed this $26 little battery light up Santa train. And this is going to be for our Christmas little setup. So it requires three AA batteries, it says, and it plays Joy to the World, Jingle Bells, Oh Christmas Tree, Silent Night, Wish, Merry Christmas, Deck the Halls, Heart Fairy, Sings, and the First Noel. Wow, eight songs. That's a lot. Up next, I've got stuff from At Home. I have really fallen in love with that store. I never used to shop there, but their Christmas and their like fall Halloween seasonal has been awesome. Some things crazy expensive, definitely don't want to touch it with a 10 foot pole, but then some of their smaller items, the decorative pieces, they are comparable to other stores. And so you kind of just want to be smart when you're shopping there. So I got some little pink Santa Clauses. How cute is that guy with his little face? He kind of looks like the Santa from Rudolph. So you could maybe paint it. I got a little gingerbread cookie pink Santa. That one was $2.99. The wood Santas were only a dollar, which I thought was a good deal. And then this one is $1.99 and it says Merry and Bright. This has a little glitter on it, but it's okay. I can deal with that glitter. I also grabbed a couple of these felt garlands. I would say the best places in my opinion to get felt garlands is either Hobby Lobby or at home because their regular price on those is like eight bucks. Hobby Lobby's stuff is like $8.99 and then you can get it half off, which I'll talk about some of those in that section of this video. Also from at home, I saw these and I sent a picture from Instagram over to Courtney at Creative on the Cheap because she was the one that got me hooked on gingerbread stuff. If you love those DIYs, make sure you are following her channel because she's got so many and I know she's got more planned. 
But how cute are these? I have an affinity for Christmas mugs. That is what I collect. I literally have so many. I also grabbed this cute little Santa Claus mug because I collect Santa Claus mugs specifically. I thought it was cute because it looks like he's got a little beanie hat on, which is cute. This one was $6.99 and I think that's what those other two were as well for Matt Home. And then I forgot this in the Dollar Tree section. I found this at Dollar Tree. I got four of these for my table set up in our dining room. How cute are these? They look really similar to ones that are Pottery Barn right now and these were $1.25. Speaking of my obsession with Christmas mugs, this is a great segue into my Amazon find. So I just just recently got this as you can see it's not out of the box yet but I saw someone share this on TikTok and I ran right to buy it because I think these are going to be awesome. They are dividers, little containers that you can store your mugs in. They're made specifically for mugs to keep them in place, have them not break. And so this is going to be great. I grabbed two of these and I cannot wait to use them to put my mugs in and keep them safe. I have a couple finds from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I always like to grab a couple tchotchkes every year to add to my collection. And this first one actually is not one I bought. It's one I was gifted, but I wanted to definitely share it. And it is this Clark Griswold, like it kind of looks like Woody from Toy Story, but you can pull the back. Out on this spot, he has 16 phrases. I need to get him out of the box, but he is so fun. Courtney from Creative on the Cheap sent me this for my birthday. There was also a buddy one that she recently got. So I will have these linked over on my Amazon storefront as well as down below if you're a Christmas vacation or elf fan like we are. I also grabbed this cute little blockbuster Pop Funko figure. I have other Pop Funkos from Christmas vacation but this one is super fun because it comes in this like VHS container. It's a small little guy and I like that his head is not as big as the regular Pop Funkos because he doesn't get top heavy and won't fall over. So both the outside holder container as well as the little Funko is decorative and I absolutely love that. Another Christmas gift idea that I wanted to throw in here from Amazon are these hands. So I originally saw people sharing these for the friendship bracelets for the heiress tour and you guys know I'm a Swifty, but I ended up buying these to save the bracelets that I made for us for the pinners conference. So I've got pinners, whiskey and wit. You can add as many as you want on here, but this is a display for my craft room. So if you know somebody that went to the heiress tour or you're planning on going to the heiress tour and you want somewhere to store your friendship bracelets or you have other events where you have jewelry or bracelets that you wanna display, this is great. It's like $25 and it comes in a ton of different colors, all available on Amazon. This one just came today. It's actually still in the box and I have to be kind of secretive. I can't shout too loud about it. But once you see it, you'll know why I bought it. It is an advent calendar for my little buddy and it comes with like a little track on the back. We love doing these every year. It's something to look forward to. There's also a Christmas vacation one that I've taken in and out of my cart a few times. It's a little pricey, so I'll probably pass on it this year. But if you like advent calendars and Christmas vacation or elf, I will link some of my favorites on a list over on my Amazon storefront. All right, friends, we made it to the final store. We are talking Hobby Lobby. Now, I love going to Hobby Lobby for Christmas decor just because right now their prices are 50% off what's on the tag. And usually you never pay that full price for seasonal. Like it's always like, except the first couple weeks of the season, like it's marked down and they've been marked to 50% off for a while. So I'm wondering if they had a lot left over from last Christmas. When I saw these bells, I knew I had to have them. How pretty are these? They come in a set of three. They have the little like stick bell. I don't know what it's called. I'm not a bell expert, but whatever the stick is on the inside to make them chime, they have those. They are $9, $9. They have a little hook. I got a few of these so that I could put them on the banister with this garland. So this garland, I will be fully transparent, is a little bit more pricey, but it is thick and heavy and I wanted one of them for our mantle. So it's originally $100, so half off it's a $50 garland, but Kirkland's has one that everybody's going nuts over that's not as full for about the same price, so I decided to go the Hobby Lobby route. That That's the high-end vibe. That That is it right there, and we're getting it for a lot cheaper than you can buy it at Pottery Barn. I just stood up from doing my haul, and I totally forgot that this was back here. And this is one of my favorite finds. So this is from Hobby Lobby, and I love the red accents plus the trees. You know I love gingerbread. This was $29.99 regular price, so $15. It's a really good size, and I love it. It does have some glitter on it, but usually gingerbread is what I'm willing to suck it up on the glitter front. But how cute. 
I was able to find so many DIY items as well as items for the upcoming Christmas movie video. So I wanted to share some of the finds with you now because it's going to be a couple weeks before I get that video out and I don't want you to miss out on any of these finds if you love these movies. So let's start out with the Grinch. I grabbed these two little figurines. We've got the Grinch with a present and a tree and then also Max naughty and nice. These are perfect for tiered trays. This one is 17, so 16.99 both of them were, so together they were half of that. Also for the Grinch, I grabbed these mugs. These were both from Hobby Lobby as well and on sale. So I thought between these and those and a couple little signs, we can make a really fun Whoville display. Like how cute is Max and the Grinch? These are lightweight too. So if you've got kiddos that like the Grinch and want to do a big kid mug, with hot cocoa you can do that and these aren't super heavy so they can definitely grab it with two hands and while being careful be able to use them while we're on the topic of mugs i also grabbed this mrs claus mug because i thought it was so cute and i like to you know represent santa and mrs claus this little guy from the beginning of the video is from there this top comes off so it's a cute little um topper there elf now, I was bummed they didn't have Christmas Vacation, but Elf is a close second. It's my husband's favorite Christmas movie, so I decorate with both. And I've went really overboard with Christmas Vacation the past few years, which is totally fine. I'm going to continue to do that, but I'm also going to try to do another larger setup for Elf for him. So we've got the cute little Buddy the Elf, which I think could be a really cute addition to a tree. That might be a hint for what's coming in that video. I don't know. We'll see. And then this guy who, again, it has music and quotes from the movie, which we can't show, but he does do a little dance. You put him on the ground, he dances around. This is another one I think Finn will get a kick out of. They also had a couple other items like a snow globe, big like directional signage thing. So if you like Elf, you definitely want to hit up Hobby Lobby before this stuff sells out. I grabbed a couple things for the Rudolph portion of that Christmas movie video. So that's another hint for another movie that's going to be in there. I grabbed these ornaments because I thought these would be perfect for a tiered tray setup. We've got Santa all the way through to the Abominable Snowman here. And then they had these little felt ones. So they've got Santa the abominable snowman and Rudolph as ornaments. So I also grabbed some red berry picks. I always get a bunch of these. They're great to put in vases. They're also great to stick in your tree, great to stick in garlands, tons of different options, but I like having these on hand. I'm always bummed when I see like Christmas ornaments for crafters because it's usually just sewing. And while sewing is great, I don't sew. So like I don't need a sewing ornament, but I always want ones that represent what I do in my job. So I found some at Hobby Lobby and wanted to share them in case they were, you know, of interest to anybody else. The first one I found was this house with some tools on it. I liked it. It didn't seem too manly and it's got the saw, the hammer and the wood on there so i thought this was fitting for the whiskey wood builds i also was able to find this really cute let's get crafting courtney originally shared this and i loved it because it has a glue gun and scissors and crafty supplies that we actually use they feel more plasticky than glass little pink camera and then i also got this cassette tape that on one side it says girl power and on the back it says boy bands that just reminded me of my childhood it's such a fun color and for this tree, I just wanted it to feel like me, to have it be fun, and to inspire me to create DIYs all season long for you guys. A couple DIY items I wanted you to be aware of in the store. Um, they are selling cinnamon sticks, both large and small, in the Christmas section, which means you can get them 50% off. So this is a much better option than getting them at the store. So if you want to craft with cinnamon sticks, definitely Hobby Lobby is the place to get them. What I do, I like to stage, which is the term that we use to set up my projects when they're finished, to show you guys and have videos of those in pictures and all the things. And so I like to grab some different items that will make the picture and video more visually appealing. One being these little cookies. I thought these are beautiful. They were $4 a piece. They sit up on their own so they can be used as decor, but I also am gonna set them down kind of for flat lays for pictures. So I grabbed three of those. And in that same vein, I grabbed two of these little, I think they're placemats. I think that's what they're calling them, placemats. But I thought this would be so pretty. You've got the green, you could put the cookies on there, put my project right in the center. And I got two of them in case I needed something wider. But the texture I think is really gonna help. My last Hobby Lobby find was this beautiful artwork piece. I usually am a big fan of going the printable route and I'm still that way. But this one, it's 3D and I just thought this was beautiful. 
Thanks so much for sticking with me. Let me know down in the comments which items were your favorite and which stores you plan on visiting. If you are not already a Whiskey Craft Buddy, be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the video content with all of the items that I shared today. And also, if you are a Whiskey Craft Buddy, thank you so, so much for coming back each week to tag along and do all of this stuff with me. I definitely could not do what I do without you guys. So thanks so much for your love and support, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!